Here we've got the IEPS, the Integrated Electronic Pressure Sensor. And today I'm just going to go through with you how we set it up, how it works, how you can change all the systems on the dial. So to begin with, what I've got here is an M8 connector. We've got it connected. It's a, we've got an M12 cable with an M8 to M12 adapter. And that plugs in just here into our pressure sensor. And then we can just secure it with the thread there. And as you can see, we've got a display come up there. So this display is going to show us primarily the, the pressure we've got running through the system. Um, it's more accurate than an analog gauge down to one and a half percent as opposed to two and a half percent on an analog gauge, which in reality is more like four percent. And what's great about this is with this display, as you can see currently, it's showing red. This means the pressure is outside the tolerance set. Obviously right now we've got no air running through it, so it shows zero. And I'm going to show you now how you can change that set point for what the desired pressure would like to be and the tolerance to give yourself a window so that if the pressure running through the system is within inside that window, you'll see the screen show green and you know that everything's okay. And if the, if the screen shows red, then that means that the pressure going through the system is outside the designated pressure window and something, something's gone wrong. So if I come in here and show you just how we can alter the tolerance in the set point, in order, to do, in order to make any changes, we long press for about a second this center button here, and that's going to flash up a white screen now asking you for a pin. You can change the pin to whatever you'd like it to be, and this just prevents anyone from tampering with what the desired pressure was going to be or anything like that. So if we enter in the pin here, for this example, it's 0000, zero, zero, zero and then long press the center button again, we're through to the settings menu where we can alter things like our set point, which is the desired pressure, the tolerance, which is then going to be our window, for what the pressure is allowed to be within, our hysteresis, our pressure units from bar or PSI, our temperature units, our rotation, if you want to invert your regulator. In this example, I can't show you that because we've got, as you can see, we've got a bowl on it. But if you wanted to invert your regulator, you would enter, you'd enter the rotation angle here. The digital output type, the digital output normal. This here is where you can change your pin. And then we've got the hours run. So this is going to be displaying how many hours the system has been online with, since being reset or unplugged, the total days it's been on for, the voltage running through the system, the temperature, and then the software version. And then that takes you back to the set point. If you then short press on the set point, this first digit here flashes up, and you can then use the up or the down arrow to alter the pressure. So we can change from three bar to two bar, and if you then single press again, you can get into your tenths and single press again into your hundreds of bar. Then if you long press there, that's going to lock that in. And then you can scroll down to your tolerance and the same applies. You simply press onto what you want to alter up or down to change the digit and then long press to confirm. And then once you're happy with the settings you've changed, you long press again. And that brings you back to where you started. As you can see now, we've got some pressure running through the system. So I've set the set point to two bar and the tolerance to 0.2 of a bar. So right now we've got just over two bar running through, so the screen is showing green. If I do this here and increase the pressure, we're going to go outside of that tolerance zone and you're going to see the screen flash red and stay red. So you know that you've got over pressure in your system. And if I dial it back this way, take it back through the green and under 1.8 bar, we're now going to see that we've got under pressure in the system and the screen again is going to show red. I'm now going to take you through how to change the pressure units on the screen. So if we long press here for one second, it takes us into our pin menu. If we long press again, that confirms the pin and we're into the settings menu. If we press the down arrow here to scroll down to pressure units. Single press once, we can take it through MPA or PSI. So if we select PSI there, and then long press to take us back out of the menu. We've now got our set point is 29 PSI, our tolerance is 003, and we've got 28.6 PSI on the screen there, and we're in that green window. So hopefully now you can see how easy this is to use. Um, the great benefits of these are it's clearly legible. You can clearly see here what pressure you've got running through your system. You can clearly see with the green or the red display whether you're inside your pressure window and whether you need to take a look at anything. 
and hopefully I've made it clear that it's really easy to use, super easy to change your set points, your pressure window, your units, anything like that. Really, really simple, really effective piece of kit.